If you want to learn how to use Selenium WebDriver to emulate a mobile device form factor, watch this video. I will be showing you how to use one of Selenium Sports latest features, which is support for the Chrome DevTools protocol. You're watching Automate Now, I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. Here we are on the Chrome DevTools protocol website, and here are the different categories that we can work on. We're going to take a look at emulation today, and then we're going to take a look at set device metrics override. And as shown here, this overrides the values of device screen dimensions, such as width and height. And here are the different parameters that we can use. Some of them are required, while others are optional. So let's go to google.com, and let's hit F12. Here we have this little icon here to toggle device toolbar. We're going to click on that, and here we're able to emulate different device screen sizes. For example, I can select a Galaxy S5 or an iPhone 10. We're going to learn how we can do this with Selenium. Let's go to the code. And here we have a test. This one's called test emulate mobile device. I've already set up the web driver and now we need to write the logic for emulating an iPhone 10. To begin, we need a hash map. So we're going to say map string object. We're going to call this device metrics equal to new hash map. Then we need to add those parameters that we talked about. These ones here. We need the width, the height, device scale factor, and mobile. So let's go ahead and add those. All right, so we're all set. And here I'm using the width and the height for an iPhone 10. And I got that information from here. For device scale factor, I'm using zero. You could try some other number if you wish. And then mobile, I'm setting it to true so that it's shown as a mobile device. Next, we need to say driver that execute CDP command. And here we need to pass in two parameters. The first one is going to be the command that we want to execute. And the second one is the hash map containing the parameters. The command that we need is this one right here, emulation that set device metrics override. So let's go ahead and copy this. Then we're gonna paste that in here. Then we're going to pass in the device metrics. Now we're going to navigate to google.com. And we're going to conduct the search. Now we're all set. We're going to navigate to google.com and we're going to search for cars. Now let's go ahead and run this test. I'm going to put a breakpoint right here. And notice that we have all the results here, but are being shown as a mobile device. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to the channel. I release videos every week. Also, give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video.